From the Ear to There Travel Studio, this is the Ear to There Disney Podcast. Welcome aboard the Ear to There Podcast, the podcast that'll help you vacation like a pro in any Disney destination. For those of you standing, please sit down and hold on throughout our journey and get ready to learn how to have the time of your life. And now, here's your host, Phil Gramlich. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Ear to There Disney Podcast. I'm your host, Phil Gramlick. I am also the owner and the operator of Ear to There Travel, which is a Disney specialized travel agency. It's my job to take away all that stress, all that anxiety, and all that time that it takes for you to plan a Disney trip so you can focus on the fun things like having a phenomenal time with your family and friends and enjoying the magic. And I take away that stress, I take away that anxiety, I provide all that time back to you for no extra cost at all. So let me be your guide. Let me be your Disney conscience. I'll be Jiminy Cricket. You can go on your amazing adventure like Pinocchio all over Walt Disney World, but you'll have me there on your shoulder or in your pocket to help you make all those decisions, book all those things, you know, the regular stuff that Jiminy Cricket does in the film. (laughs) Remember the part when Jiminy Cricket's booking fast passes and dining reservations on the laptop? That's what I do. (laughs) Okay, you can find this podcast, my blog, or request a free, no obligation quote over at eartothertravel.com. This is episode number 109 for the week of February 5th, 2018. Now, grab a drink, grab a snack, and as a famous mouse once said, On with the show. But of course, before we get started on this week's episode, it is time for the What About Bob segment of the show. That is where listeners like you can send in your questions for Disney legend and retired Imagineer Bob Gurr. Bob answers a question on each and every episode, and you can get your question into him by calling the voice line that's 267-551-1971, or you can always email me the question to phil at eartothertravel.com. And as always, the What About Bob segment is brought to you by the Walt Land Bus Tour. Each and every month, Bob Gurr takes a group of lucky fans on a bus tour all over Southern California. Well, really in the immediate Los Angeles area, you go to Los Angeles to Glendale to Burbank and you visit a whole bunch of famous sites and historical sites in the history of the Disney company and especially in the life of Walt Disney. To get tickets for the Waltland bus tour, just stop by www.waltland.com. Okay. He's Bob. That was impressive. <laughs> I didn't expect to be able to do it that long. All right, here's Bob. It's what about Bob? Bob Gurr, the legend, creator of the Matterhorn, the monorails and the haunted mansion. What about Bob, the Disney legend? And sometimes Bob answers your questions, and sometimes he answers my questions. What's cool about talking to Bob is I can just have a conversation, and we we talk Disney and Walt Disney and all kinds of things. So this question this week is one that I had for Bob that just came up in the middle of a conversation. Enjoy. What's your opinion on the popularity of the screen-based attractions that they have now, like Soarin' or Flight of Passage or the ones, the new King Kong attraction at Universal? Are you a fan of that kind of technology? Well, back up just a minute. Back up. Let's go all the way back to Walt Disney when he was about 16, 17, 8 years old. He's a storyteller. His life was always looking for the latest technologies to help tell stories. They wound up as the absolute stunning 2D and color snow white way of telling stories. It wound up through, you know, movies after a while. It got up into television and doing stories before a lot of other people did it. All the technologies that are in a physical uh, amusement park 
There's so many ways to tell the story. Sometimes it might be simple 2D stuff. Sometimes it might be uh, terribly involved, three-dimensional everything. A pirate ride, well, that first pirate ride at Disneyland is an example where the thing is, it's all real. I mean, that's real stuff. Haunted Mansion is a combination of real stuff and some stuff you can't quite understand, which, you know, uses screens, projection, everything. Sometimes people use uh, holography. Uh, the fact that the world is constantly moving into new technologies to tell stories. Uh, for example, two years ago, I was in uh, Seattle and I went to a special exhibition of uh, 360 degree um, uh, video. And when I say 360, that's a sphere, a spherical screen. You are inside a sphere. That's a screen, but it's all done in VR with a headset. I'm sitting there on a chair. I can look in all directions. I can spin that chair as fast as I can go all the way around me. And I'm in a 100% spherical environment. I look straight up and I see buildings and stars and trees. I look straight down <laughs> through my legs sitting on a chair and I'm in space. You know, I see, I go down a couple hundred feet to, you know, some canyon or something. So this lineage that goes from first graphics all the way to what I saw two years ago, what you're asking about is additional techniques how to tell stories. Some of these are good, some are not so good, but it kind of goes to the opinion that many people have. You'll, have, you'll find a person, say a, a Disney enthusiast, they like only hand-drawn 2D animation, and they get mad if they see something that's, uh, that, that Pixar did, or they see something that's uh, 3D. You'll have another person who can't get enough 3D and can't get enough VR. So it's, it's, it's to answer your question in, in a roundabout way, it has to do more with the perception and uh, closed-minded opinions that a lot of people have versus, say, some people, their, their minds are so expansive, they thrill at anything that's new, as long as it's going to tell stories in a really super manner. And that's kind of what, I mean, I, I don't want to presume anything, but from what I've read and what I've heard from you and from other uh, people who've worked with Walt, that's kind of what he was always at the forefront of, right, was that cutting edge technology, figuring out how to tell a story with it. That's what Walt did. That's, uh, that's his, that was the prime thing about him, because number one, he's a, he's a quick read at anything to do with technology. Uh, you uh, he could look at something and he's got, he understands it in, in, in a wink of an eye, uh, which meant he was a very good judge of what technologies could work, which, uh, you know, what kind of work will it take to do it. Uh, you go back to that multiplane camera. He had this idea to develop this multiplane camera, which they did it in time to get Snow White done with it. But if you really want to know what good technology is like, where Walt wants to experiment with something that doesn't exist, but he understands how it'll work, with that multiplane, go look at Pinocchio. Pinocchio has incredible fly-in shots with changing, um, changing focus that you couldn't do until we had CGI starting in the 80s. That's how early Walt was uh, at storytelling equipment and understanding it and understanding it enough to pay to have it all designed for him. Thanks again to Bob for coming on to answer another question, actually to answer my question this week. And again, it's, it's really just such an incredible thing to have Bob on the show answering questions each week and to talk to the guy who created so many cool things in the Disney parks. And this guy who knew Walt Disney so well and worked with him every day, it's just an amazing thing. So thanks again to Bob. And if you have a question for Bob, again, you can call the voice line at 267-551-1971. Okay, now on to episode number 109. At the start of every episode of the Ear to Their podcast, I talk about Fast Passes and how I will book your Fast Passes for you if you book a vacation through me. And I do that at no extra cost. Once again, 
shameless plug right there. But one question I get via email and through text messages and phone calls all the time is which attractions should I use my fast passes for in Walt Disney World? So amazingly, I haven't done a show like this just yet. That's exactly why this week we decided to record a show all about the Disney attractions you do not need fast passes for. Because I thought that was an easier kind of way to tackle it. Not everyone is going to love thrill rides. I can't say you, you, and you need fast passes for rock and roller coaster. You, you, and you need Jungle Cruise fast passes. It's kind of hard to give an all encompassing answer on what you should get fast passes for. So instead, this show, again, is all about what you should not use your fast passes for. So here to talk fast passes with me is the Elsa to my Anna. <laughs> your Anna? The Flounder to my Sebastian. The Ariel to my Prince Eric. The Hero to my, what's Hero's brother's name? <laughs> Tanabi? But he dies, right? Yeah, that's oh, a horror. Oh, guys. Spoiler. <laughs> <laughs> my wife, Ames, thank you for coming back on. You're welcome. Thank you so much for having me. This is so much fun. It is always. always fun. And I can't find the list that we had. Okay. So, <laughs> thank you for coming on. This is These are always fun. I was looking at my pop guys, by the way. That's how I got all the, oh, that's how I got the intro. Oh, that makes I those, sense. I, so, to the listener who doesn't see what I'm pointing at in my office, <laughs> I have an Anna, a Sebastian, an Ariel, and a Wasabi from Big Hero 6. Is that his name, Wasabi? Figure. Yeah, it's Wasabi. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, Wasabi. Uh, pop. Well, I should put Wasabi next to Sebastian, so you could have like Wasabi and Crab next to each other. Oh, that would be delicious. All right, so anyway, yeah, nobody can see this. This isn't fun for anybody <laughs> but us. We're having a good time. Yeah. So, Ames, thank you for coming back on. And I, again, you continue to amaze me by the numbers you pull in every episode that you're on. I don't know. <laughs> it sounded like a compliment, but it certainly didn't feel like one. Trust me, but it was a compliment. It was just a little bit of a backhanded one. Well, I'm happy to hear it. No, it's always fun to come on. Thank you. All right. So it's always fun to come on into the basement while no one is home. <laughs> the kids are at school and we can talk Disney it's like the fun. true Disney nerds that we are. It's really true. Well, you've said it before. We met in Walt Disney World. We got engaged in Walt Disney right. World. We didn't get married there because that was a little too expensive for us. <laughs> we honeymooned in Disneyland. We did, where, did we have an anniversary? I, I don't even remember. We've had a lot of big moments. Probably. I think we did have, we had a couple of anniversaries, in actually. In Walt Disney World, yeah. Yes. We've had a lot of big moments in Walt Disney World. And one thing we've figured out over the years and through all those big moments, you see the segue that I can do there? This is beautiful. I'm a, it's a you know, I'm a He's pro. He's a professional. They don't, give, they don't give these shows to chips. <laughs> you want <like> chips? Yeah. <laughs> That's a Letterman line. So what we've learned through all those years and all those anniversaries and all those trips is how to use the fast pass system. And now I was going to say recently, but it's not very recent. The fast pass plus system, right? How to work the system where we know exactly which attractions we need fast passes for and ones that we don't need fast passes. For. Absolutely. And that really helps you maximize your park time. It does. And I see a lot of people do what we're going to tell you not to do today. Oh, this yes. is a big time strategy show. I love strategy. Yeah, it's a strategy show. It's <laughs> this was one. This is see. I think this this could be a good show for not only a first timer. I think it's a really good show for a first timer. It's a great show for a first timer. But you're right. It's for any show veteran, for any, yeah. Because you don't want to waste your fast passes. Absolutely. You only not. get three, and then you get the rolling fast pass after you use the three. Right. Which you know you get. You're at the mercy of the system. Then whatever's available, you get. You're which getting is fine if you're cool with that. But it depends on your party. If it's just. Like, if it's just a couple of adults and you're not, like, there are no priorities and you got your fast passes that you wanted, then it's fine. But if you have, like, kids or if you have older people or maybe people who aren't feeling great that day, you're really going to want to prioritize. Yeah, absolutely. So and we're control gonna, it yourself. Yes, that's true. So we're going to help you avoid the mistakes and the pitfalls yes. that a lot of guests make when planning their fast passes. But this show is all about what not to get fast passes for. 
in Walt Disney World, right? Right. So it's two different things, right? So there are some we're going to mention that actually you can't get fast passes for, right. but then we're going to mention quite a few that you can get you fast shouldn't. passes for, but don't. Um, hey, like the, I put the eh, X on. Don't yes. do it. The red X with the line right, through Right, right. You just don't need them. The no, you don't And there them. are different reasons for each, you know, why you don't need them, but we'll go through it. Trust us, and we're going to go through it. And, and we'll it's going to take you. a while. We're going to go through all four parks. Oh, it's going to be fun. Starting with the most recent park and then going to the oldest park. I'm in. All right, so we're going to start off with Disney's Animal Kingdom. And the first one I'm going to mention, and Amy's making a face. Can you not read the list? Or is it, <laughs> no, I just can't see You do not know what that, that well. attraction is. Yes, I'm familiar. So I the, just can't see. The first one, you, can't get, you cannot get a fast pass for this right. one. And it's the Wildlife Express train to Rafiki's Planet Watch with a faction section and all that good stuff. You can't get a fast pass for it. Right, but you wouldn't need you it. You wouldn't need one anyway. There's never a wait for the train in more than a couple of minutes. Right. You get out there, there's the the affection section, which is a petting zoo, right? But it's fun. It's right. really fun for everyone. I just realized we shouldn't go through every attraction because this is going to take forever. Yeah, that's so, going to be boring. Anyway, <laughs> we're not going to describe every single attraction, but this one is you don't need a fast pass for. You don't have them. Right. But it's fun, especially if you have little kids and Absolutely. you want to burn some time or get right. out there. And there's a lot of stuff to do out there. So, yeah, no, you do not need them for. Wildlife Express or Rafiki's Planet Watch. All right, Ames, you want to take the next one? Sure, I'll take the next one. Oh, perfect. So, Expedition Everest. And I'm sure that some of you are saying, what? I don't need a fast pass for it. Of course, if you're going to go like with your whole family um, or again with children, yes, you're going to want to get a fast pass. But, but if you um, are going by yourself, or if you're going a couple, again, a couple of adults, um, you can do the single rider line for Everest. And guess what? It is not a long wait. It's never, never a long wait. Never more than 20 minutes tops. I think that's definitely tops. I would say. Minutes. And then you don't, now you're not going to get to ride with anybody in your party. You're not going to. Right. Single rider means you're just, you're even just if you're with yourself. other people that you know, you're doing it by yourself. And there's, there's pretty much, there's no guarantee that you'll even be in the same train. Like you'll probably. Right. Be riding different trains. So you have to be cool with that. Yeah, you have to be cool with not riding even on the same train with anybody in your party. But it's a time saver. Definitely. Uh, you, you, you really don't need the fast pass. Plus, well, the one the one bummer to using it here is you don't get to walk through the, the entire queue. That's true. And the entire queue sets the entire story. But if for you've the, done it before, right, then exactly. that's not a big deal. If you've done it before, single rider all the way, you don't right. need the fast It pass. also depends on your priority, right? Because now, of course, you're in Animal Kingdom. So it may be more important to you to do like Navi River Journey or. True. What's the other one called? I, I'm not going to. I'm not bailing you out. You got to figure this one out. Okay. The, the Avatar other one, Flight of Pass. That's the correct one terminology come on uh, <laughs> sorry i haven't done it yet so anyway um if those are your priorities then you're not going to worry as much and you're just going to want to be able to do everest so that's a really good way to do it right and not have to wait and not have to burn a fast pass that's true very true okay next one moving on and i'm going to take this one finding nemo the oh, musical yes. at this is animal kingdom you don't need a fast pass for you might wait a little bit uh it's a huge theater though Huge. I think it's going to be max 10 minutes. Yeah, you're minute. never going to wait for it. I mean, no you'll just be waiting for the next show, basically. That's right exactly away. right, yep. It's a great show. It's an air-conditioned theater. Don't need a fast pass. Oh, Enjoy it's it. like Broadway quality. It really is, guys. It's a great it's show. Awesome. It really is. So, yeah, so that's another one. All right, Ames, you go with the next All one. All right, so, of course, I'm going to hit, uh, I've talked about this before, It's Tough to Be a Bug. Such a fun show. Great for any age. Um, and you definitely don't need a fast pass. It's the same kind of thing where you just be waiting for the next show. Right. I've never waited, and we've never gotten a fast pass. <laughs> um, I, they do have them available, them. and I've they never do? used it. No, definitely don't waste your fast pass on it. But do enjoy it, because it's really fun and cool. Unless you have kids who are afraid of oh, yeah. the dark. <laughs> Spiders right. or smoke effects. Then don't. Then go. don't do it. <laughs> Kids are terrified of this attraction, so it's just pay, true. Just pay attention. Or also, you know your kid better than anyone. Or have them watch it beforehand. Yeah, jump on YouTube. I think there's good videos on YouTube. Yeah, there's a good video. There's a huge. If you've seen the movie, it's Bug Life. A Bug's Life. A Bug's Life. Not it's a Bug's mm -hmm. Life. It's a Bug's Life. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's not what it is. He always ends up singing. <laughs> I know. I, I'm a singer. I like to sing. You are a singer. I am not a singer. I'm the worst singer ever. They're but great. I stop it. But I enjoy it, and it's funny. And I think people love like cringing in their car when they hear me sing. <laughs> oh no, he's singing again. No, I'm not gonna sing again. Oh, <laughs> no, okay. Oh yeah, I got like, it. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so yeah, if you you know your kids better than obviously than we do, I wouldn't take a kid who scares easily. No. To it's tough to be a bug. All right. Moving on. Is this me? Yeah, it's me. 
So moving on to... Why don't you do both of them? They're kind of together. Uh, so this is uh, the Amy Elizabeth show. <laughs> Amy's the producer now. To move us along. <laughs> we don't have to move that fast. We don't have to like speed read. But I mean, I'm not going to do that one. So you can do them both. Jeez. <laughs> you need like a producer hat. And like the, <laughs> she needs a clapboard. It's just these, you guys. He Filter, feels very, take one. <laughs> he feels very passionately about these two attractions, so I wanted to give it to you. Go Thank ahead. you. I appreciate Show it. You. And the, the reason I want to take both of these is, that, listen, Animal Kingdom is my park. It really is. I don't own it. I didn't build it or <laughs> design don't? it. No, I don't. Oh, contrary, I got to rethink this whole relationship. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Contrary to popular belief, I didn't create the park. Oh. <laughs> I have nothing to do with it anymore. I go and enjoy it like every other guest. But I was there, right, I worked there right after it opened. I will always, always, always have kind of a soft spot in my heart for not only the park, but for, well, one of these two attractions. The two I'm talking about are Pangani Forest Exploration Trail. Uh, it almost didn't get that out. And the Maharaja Jungle Trek. Now, Pangani Forest, I have a soft spot for because I worked there. I was to right. walk through there every single day. I got to know the gorillas. That was your chance. We were buddies. You guys were best out. friends. They scared me on several occasions. <laughs> uh, and so both of these, there's no fast passes available. Yeah, they're those, walking tours. They're great. Yeah, you wouldn't need a fast pass. You don't need them. You walk through at your own pace. They're super fun. Bring your camera. Take a lot of pictures. Right. Uh, at P- Pangani Forest. Um, why did I say Pangani Forest? It's back at the Gorilla Falls. Oh, that yeah. list that I pulled out was an old list. Oh, dear. It is not Pangani Forest, people. It is Gorilla so don't Falls. Look for that. <laughs> Exploration Trail is back to Gorilla it's Falls. It's cool, though. It's really fun to do those. It's very relaxing. And as you said, take a lot of pictures. Yeah, but yeah, you don't need. Or you yeah, can't go, get through, fast passes. go through Gorilla Falls, see the gorillas, see the meerkats, the hippos in the water, right. the aviary, the naked mole rats, all those. There's some really cool animals. The okapi are in there. And then when you go through Maharaja Jungle Trek, you can see the Bengal tigers, which are amazing. It's such a well done. It really is well done. The story, and I, I told about, you he was very passionate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I know. It's, it, no, I, that's good. I, I know. I I gosh over Disney. I don't, well, people it's get excited. This is why I'm, I have this that's podcast. Exactly right. So I I know I said we were going to harp on attractions, but <laughs> this one. these are two. I think people pass by a lot. No, they too. do. They're very under. They're like oh, walking tour. Uh, I'm not doing that. No, it's no. Super you cool. got to do it. It's you such do. a good. It's such a good attraction. So Maharaja has the Bengal tigers, which. The story of that is, it was uh, a palace oh, right. of um, a sultan. I no, would it would I guess in, in it's in India, Shah. I don't know. It's I'm someone's sure. palace, right? And the story is he uh, built this palace, and he would enclose these tigers, and then it made it really easy for his buddies to come over and tiger hunt, oh, and they would go through yes, this palace and kill the tigers. Oh. Well, if you follow the story along the, in the paintings and the murals oh, along that's the really attraction, fun. Yeah, you see at that. the end the tigers got them. Oh, nice! Because they, they he he was taking care of them. He was killing all the tigers. So the tigers got together. We were like, we're not taking they this anymore. Together. Yeah, they they like formed the pack. Nice. And they they take the guy out. That's really cool. That's the story of the attraction. And now the tigers run that palace. Now it makes right? me want to do it again. Yes, yeah, so if you if you go through, you can really see those the story as you go through. Right. That's like cool. we always say, Disney's all about story. All about right, the so that the whole the thing story. is the story, yep. and you get to see the uh, the giant bats, the the vampire bats. Or oh yeah, <laughs> the fruit bats, I think. But I like to call them vampire bats. Uh, it's just a great. <laughs> Makes it more exciting. It's a really, it's just a really cool thing to see. Both yeah, of them are great. You shouldn't skip them. They're really no. cool. And you don't need a fast pass again. Just walk through. Right. Okay. So the last one yes. at Disney's Animal Kingdom. Uh, I'll swing it over to Ames, and you go with that one. Yes. So I have Festival of the Lion King, which is so fabulous. Um, and yeah, I've never, I don't think that we've gotten a fast pass for this ever either. We have, we oh, have yes. gotten fast passes. But you really don't You need don't it. need them. No, you really if don't. If you're willing to wait just a little bit, uh, you don't have to wait a long, it's not like it's a 40 not minute be line. A long wait. Yeah, you wait 20 minutes tops, you get into the next show. Right. And it's such, it's such a worth it it's show. Talk about like Broadway. So, I mean, it is unbelievable. The, it feels almost like Search of Soleil, right? It's like, it's, un, it's unreal. It's it just is. the acrobatics and the music and the, and then the people come out into the audience, and it's just really, really cool. And I think this one is overlooked quite a bit yeah, as well. Yeah, the Tumble Monkeys. Yes, the Tumble the Monkeys best. are the best part. But it's very unique. What the heck? Somebody's calling me. You know who it is? I'm going to let it ring for a minute. I can't answer it. It's Mr. Johnny Shortsleeve himself. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> calling into the show. But I can't answer it, so I'm going to have to stop. I'm going to have to decline it. 
I will call you back, Mr. Schwarzleaf, because <laughs> we are recording. So I'm sorry. So the Tumble Monkeys are amazing. They make the whole They show. make the whole show, yeah. They but really everything do. about it, and I do think that people really don't bother um, for, with the show, but definitely bother. It's so great. And yes, you definitely can wait. Um, not very long, and it's worth it. Don't use your fast pass on it. No, I don't use a fast pass. And the story about this one, I'll, I'll stop telling the stories. But no, it's fine. This, these, the way this show came about, seriously, was there wasn't enough to do in Animal Kingdom, right back in back when it opened, right? And they had all these floats left over from the Lion King parade. Oh, I remember this. So they just put them in a theater, and we're like, let's make a show around the floats. <laughs> and they did, and they did, and it's been there for twenty years. It has. I remember seeing it the first years. Yeah, it so it's well. crazy that. This temporary show, they just built a new theater for it a couple years ago. Right. It's like the best show in Animal Kingdom. It's amazing. Every time I see it, I'm totally blown away. It's so unique. It's so And it's so good, and it's live. It is. Live music, live performers. Yes. Different. Every time you see it, they're, you know, because they, there's crowd interaction. It's just really good. It's yeah, really it's good. It's really amazing. All right. So moving over to the second youngest park, which mm-hmm. opened in 1989, Disney's Hollywood Studios, which is about to become something different. There was a leaked report. Oh, there was? That it was going to be like Cinemagic Park or oh. Cine- Yeah. Oh, uh, we're going to have to learn a new name. And it's going to be spelled awkwardly. Like it's, <laughs> that's not even, no, because people who, English isn't their first language. It's going to be confusing. It's not even a word. They're not going to, anyway. No. Oh. It's Cinemagic or something like that. It's Cine something. Cinemagic. I don't know. Oh, that sounds very <laughs> that, That's French. That's, that's what it will be French. in Hollywood Studios, France. Okay. So. <laughs> I'm just going to keep she calling just, it. She just groans. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, I'm like, he is such a stickler, you guys. So if I ever call it MGM, which is what it used to be called, he's like, what are you talking about? I'm like, oh, I mean well, Hollywood Studios. Well, first of all, it was never called MGM. It That's was called what a lot of people call Disney it. Disney MGM Studios. Nobody called it that. That's what it was called. <laughs> when you worked there, you had to call it that. Right. Yeah, I mean, you would get in trouble if you didn't. That's true. You All couldn't I'm just call it MGM as a cast He's a stickler, so I'm going to have to start saying Cinemagic. I'm going to practice I don't that. think that's what it is. It's Cine something. <laughs> anyway, I looked at the report, and I was like, eh. Nah. Anyway, <laughs> so the first one at Hollywood Studios you do not need a Fast Pass for is Beauty and the Beast Live on Stage. Uh, good. Definitely you don't need a Fast Pass. It's an enormous theater. Right. Oh, no, absolutely. They, they can fill it when it's busy, but... You're still not going to need a fast pass for it. They have yeah. them available, but you don't need it. Don't definitely still a great don't. show. No, I mean, still great. Right. Live performances by Gaston. Oh, and it's amazing. By Bell singing performances. Great dancing. Good show. Okay. And the, I'm sorry, I was just no, no, say, yeah. This is really important because, especially with all of the things that are coming to Hollywood Studios, you really going to need fast passes for other things, right? More than you ever have, right? So you really need to have these, you know attractions that we're about to describe so that you don't have to worry about, oh, no, I'm not going to ever be able to do all this. Yes, you can, and we'll help you. <laughs> <laughs> I like the, the gumption. Uh, you're welcome. I'm feeling it today. All right, so you go on to the next one. Then. Yeah, I get to with do. That, with that attitude, that can, can do, do attitude. I, oh, no. Yes, we both said can do attitude. <laughs> yes, we are married. We spend way too much time together. Really, uh, it's really remarkable. Jeez, I wanted to go time. to New Orleans by myself. That wasn't a trip you were supposed to go on. What? Did you know that? <laughs> Anyway, go ahead, your turn. So my turn, now I'm not as excited, no, um, is Disney Junior Live, which I talk about all the time. Um, but it's just such a great show. Obviously, this, I'm only talking about um, the people with kids. Well, I mean, I, I guess adults can enjoy it uh, for the first time. But definitely kids, yeah, I mean, obviously. I think if you see it once, if you're an adult, It's really it's fun. It's a great show, but especially for kids. And they get to sit on the floor, and they can stand up and dance at certain points. And there's lots of interaction. There's like bubbles and things that come down from the ceiling. Um, so it's it's absolutely wonderful. Um, and it's, you know, obviously I know a lot of kids are super into all the Disney Junior characters. So this is such a great opportunity for them to do that. And you definitely do not need a fast pass for it. No, no way. But you should definitely fit it into your day. And if you're going to go, I'd say go in the morning or in like one of the later shows in the evening because you do have to wait outside for a little bit of yeah it's a little bit hot and you're right in the sun yes there's no real cover in that queue but I think also we should mention and I know we talked about this before but um, right outside of the show is where you can meet Jake Sophia Doc and I think it's uh, Pluto Usually. Yeah, Pluto, yeah, sometimes. Um, and you can't get fast passes for them. And they're never a long and wait for those I've never nah. wait, And we wait. I mean, we stand and wait. And I've never waited more than 15 minutes, which is really not a long time. 
Not for character. Right. Like right in that courtyard. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, so what you do is we like to hit all the characters and then go, just go right into the show so you can time it uh, where you can do that. Yeah. If you get in line for the characters maybe a half hour before the show starts, Perfect. you can probably do, do both. Absolutely. 40 minutes maybe. All right. So next one, Fantasmic. You don't need a fast pass for it. You can get them. I didn't know you could get them. Can you get them? I think you can. Am I wrong? I'm not sure. Well, you don't need it, even if you can get yeah, them. Yeah, don't worry about it, even if you can. <laughs> uh, I, I always forget it, because I know they had a Fantasmic dinner package where you get priority seating for Fantasmic. Right, yeah, that's and what then I then think you pay I'm the, confusing the, the, Yeah, I think I might be confusing it, too. Uh, either way, even if it's available, don't get a fast pass for right. it. Right. Just wait. It's it's fun to go to the theater early. It's really fun. It's a really big theater. They they it, the, Even the people who sell the souvenirs get the crowd warmed up and That's what and, I was going to say. They get, they're get they entertaining you the whole time. Yeah, they have they sell like the light up headbands and the wands and the swords. and. But they're singing and they're talking to you and they yeah, it's a neat It's a neat place to sit down and you just sit and relax before the show starts. You sit I on like the benches. And, yeah, yeah, I, I like, like waiting a little bit. <laughs> and Fantastic's still a great show. So it's don't, really great. Yeah, don't get a fast pass for that, even if you can. All right, next one up, Ames. You see that one? I sure do. <laughs> He's saying that because I'm squinting. But this is great. So this is um, Frozen Sing Along for the first time in forever is the full title. Um, and definitely do not get fast passes, but it is phenomenal. And this is something that any age at all can enjoy. Um, and again, it's different every time. It's different every time. The, the, what is, what is the royal... The royal- Stories of Arendelle. Yes, they, they are super fun. They're Amazing. like the best parts of the show. They're the best part of the show. So yeah. entertaining. They make they ad lib every single show. We've seen it so many times, and we've heard different jokes every time. Obviously, just the fact that you can sing really loud is appealing to many people of all ages. Yes, like you. <laughs> um, and they like tell you our to kids. Sing really loud. Oh my god, our girls especially. Yes, they get Bell so into out. it. We've had people like come up to us after the show. Yes. To tell us they watched our girls the entire time because they were <laughs> singing to the top of their lungs. And they feel like they're, e- they're, yeah, they feel like they're yeah. in the show. They're part of the show. Yeah, it's a great, um, it's a great yeah, Definitely do that for sure. That's a really good one. Uh, next up on the list, and thank you, Ames. You're welcome. <laughs> Indiana Jones, Epic Stunt Spectacular. It's been there for darn near 20-some years. Uh, it's a great show still. So I know what's coming in the show. I know. I don't, I don't want to spoil it. Like. No, there don't are, spoil no, it, no, no, there, there are, are so many people that haven't seen it. They haven't seen it, right. So I'm not going to spoil it. But even though I know what's coming, it's still a great show. I Absolutely. still enjoy it. We take our kids now. Uh, I know, I don't think Jack and Zoe have seen it. They haven't. Alexa has seen it and loved it. Thought it was awesome. It is. So you'd be it's on another the, again, very unique experience. It is. And it's you don't need a fast pass for it. You walk into the theater. Right. Uh, that theater still fills up, though. I mean, it's amazing. It really does. The staying power of the shows. Actually, like that. I think it's because you don't need a fast pass for it. People yeah, you are just like, walk oh, right I'll in. just yeah, yeah. walk in. But Absolutely. we're just telling you guys so you don't forget to do it. <laughs> right. Make sure you do it. Okay. And yes. you're on to the next one. Oh, yes. So I have Muppet Vision 3D, um, which is so fun. And obviously, I feel like the Muppets have made a huge comeback um, and are super popular. Even so, I still have never waited for it. No, I think when we've been there at the busiest times of year, right? You kind of you never wait in the outdoor queue. You, one, no, I, always, one that's time, a really good point. One time in my in our existence, <laughs> have I waited outside in that queue, and it was just around the corner against the brick wall for maybe three minutes. And then I got inside. Oh, I think I was with you. Yes, but you know, it was I mean, very never. short. Yeah, 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 never, never, never. No. So right. So that's a good point too. That's another reason. That you don't need fast passes for things is even if it's a little bit of a longer wait, if it's inside and air conditioned, yeah. you're cool. You can definitely wait. Yeah, I mean, you can just kind of hang out. You're just enjoying the, kids the sit cool on the floor. Breeze. Yeah, it's <laughs> awesome. Um, but yeah, this is a great show, obviously. I mean, m- there's Muppets in there. You got your three glasses. <laughs> um, and, you know, it never gets old. The jokes are hilarious. Um, it's just really, there's like so much fun character, you know, interaction in the show it's just really a great show and yeah don't wa- bother using a fast pass. no don't next up for me uh rock and roller coaster starring aerosmith you now again this is like you said with everest you're like yeah right. you, you need a fast pass for it because it's going to be a 45 minute to an right. hour and a half wait it's still very popular right people still wait in line every day for this attraction absolutely but there is a single rider single rider what, what? So just like just like we said <laughs> She did a dance too. That I wasn't did. Just, it wasn't just. No, the I raised words. the roof. She's raising the roof <laughs> in the studio. Uh-huh. Yeah, I lost my train of thought. 
That's how good a dancer I am. When she was that good. I, was, I thought it was Paul Abdul in the house. I know. Was, that happens all the time to Or me. J-Lo when she was a fly girl. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, yeah. So you don't need it. Use the single rider line. Just like Everest. You will be broken up from your party. You won't. Not from a birthday party. Definitely not a birthday party. <laughs> <laughs> you and your party will be broken up. You probably won't ride the same train together. Right. But for the same limo, I guess, in this case. But uh, if that's in okay a super with you. stretch. Make it a stretch. Make it a super, super stretch. stretch. Anyway, if it's cool with you being broken up, then yeah, just use a single rider line. Absolutely. Straight. And this is one similar to um, Everest where you might be the only person in your party who wants to do it. So it doesn't matter anyway. Yeah, I think you're right. It's kind of a polarizing attraction. It is a little bit, and that's like, okay. Yeah, like it's, it's, I love it, and I always have. Yeah. All right, I'm going to tell the quick story. So, Amy's not a thrill ride person. Not at all. She doesn't, she does not like Tower of Terror. She's never been on Space Mountain. I've never been able to get on. I don't on. think I ever will. She doesn't enjoy um, Splash Mountain, but she will ride with her kids. You like Thunder Mountain, right? You can do I that. I love Big Thunder Mountain, but, but that sounds scary. It's, it's not scary, but so she, this is kind of a cruel thing that my friend and I did, our friend and I did. We were there together, the three of us, before we had kids, and he said, Phil, have you ever gotten Amy on a roller coaster? And I said, no, I actually never even pushed it. And he was like, she's riding today. And I was like, no, I did no, no. not hear this conversation, by the and way. And I was either. like, no, nah, I don't think she's going to do it. She's going to hate me forever. And he's like, no, nah, no, nah, she's riding. I'll, I'll talk her into it. So he kind of talked her, right? He talked you into kind of yeah, like it's not that bad and it's only one inversion. And right. he made up a whole bunch of mumbo jumbo. And, and you, he definitely added something about like I could leave if I got up there and I didn't want to. Oh, no, but you guys did not allow me to leave. <laughs> so she rode one time in her life. <laughs> one and done, baby. Justin. But it was. I can see how people who didn't feel like they were going to have a heart attack um, <laughs> would really enjoy it. It is a great it attraction. It is an it's amazing great. attraction. Yeah, the loop is great. The twist, the corkscrew is awesome. Yeah. No, spoiler alert. Sorry. <laughs> but you know there's inversions before you go right. on. Right. But you're, but you're, I know, because I remember saying, do you, I'll do it as long as you don't have to go upside down and just total silence from both of you guys. <laughs> yeah, there's a, there are a couple upside down sections of the, uh, I think you said one, which was two, not true. There were two. That's correct. I'll tell you now, there are two inversions. <laughs> Not just one. But no, so the point is that a single rider will be appealing to a lot of people who, there's only one of you who want to do it. Like with us, like nobody, right. in, our kids are not tall enough to do it yet. Amy won't do it. So when we're there, I'll say, you guys, what are you guys are having a snack? I'm going to run over and do Rock and Roller Coaster really fast. I'll be right back. And it's a perfect park to do stuff like that. Yeah, you can break because up for Because there are so many attractions, you know, shows and stuff that you don't need to fast pass for. It's easy to break up. I'll do this one, you do that one, and we can just meet up after. It's perfect. Right. So, yeah. So, you do not need a Fast Pass for Rock, Rock and Roll Coaster. coaster. <laughs> we were I, was, I was waiting for you to say. Okay. <laughs> Who's up next? You're up next with the next one. Okay, cool. Oh, I love this one. So, this is... I wonder if people are going to think their they're, uh, they're, like iPhone died at that moment. It's oh, be like four and it's just dead silence. I wonder... <laughs> That'll be really funny. I want to see if I hear from anyone. Anyway, anyway. That would be so cool. Go ahead. Next one. I guess. Um, so Star Wars Launch Bay, uh, which is so fantastic. So there actually aren't fast passes available for characters um anyway. But I am actually always blown away by how short the lines are. Because they right? always say twenty to twenty five minutes and it ends up being ten. Right, but it also so what's cool is so there are so many characters that you don't that there aren't fast passes available for. But there also isn't like a time posted. Right. So you really have no idea what yeah. you're in for. So these do have the times posted. Right. Which I think is super helpful. Um, you know, just in case you're like, oh no, I definitely can't um, you know, wait that twenty five minutes, even if it turns out not to be. But I've seen Kylo Ren, Chewbacca, all of them, I've seen ten minutes. I don't think I've ever seen more than fifteen minutes for any of them. I like yeah, I've seen twenty twenty five, but it feels like I never wait more than fifteen. Right, absolutely. So to make a long story short, <laughs> you don't really need a fast pass for any of the characters in Star Wars Launch Bay or any of the other things you can do. Right, which there's so much. And especially with, you know, obviously there's so much Star Wars stuff coming. But right now, this is really the best Star Wars experience you're going to get right yeah, now. Yeah, it is. And there's like a, there's the little theater that has the movie. Oh, that's too. cool. That's true. 
I mean, it's not really something I'm going to wait for. I, I know the Star Wars movies yes. inside and out. But, <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, you can do that as well. So, yeah, it's cool. that. And again, yeah, there's a lot next. 2019, summer of 2019, I assume, is they just keep saying 2019. Right. When, when we think it's summer. When Star Wars uh, Galaxy's Edge is coming. That's so, so exciting. very exciting. But, yeah, until then, go meet Chewbacca, go meet Kylo Ren, and enjoy it. And BB-8. And BB-8, which is Don't so Don't forget BB-8. I will never forget BB-8. Okay, so you're up. <laughs> no, that was me. Go ahead. You're... Nope. Nope. Okay, yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Just so you know, I'm always right. All right, so the, the last one at Hollywood Studios <laughs> we wanted to talk about that, again, you don't need a fast pass for, is the Voyage of the Little Mermaid, the show that's been there since 1991. I think, I, yeah, I think you're right. Oh, it's still so good. It really stands up. It's a up. great show. It's a, so enjoyable. Listen, the technology is old. Right. It is. It's old. It's laser beams and, and blacklight technology. No, you're absolutely right. There's no cutting edge special effects. But Ariel sings live during the show. Which is incredible. Which makes it. There's, you know, an Ursula which creeps kids out. Oh, it does. It's really <laughs> fun, though. It is. It's a great that show. That part is well done. I know they probably the do it differently now, but it's cool. Well, yeah. I mean, it's, 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 you know, it's the same as it was when it first opened. Right. Under the Sea, that, that song, that number, and that show is great. It's a showstopper. It really it is. is. It's, it's just awesome. a great. And kids, I mean, adults will probably figure out how they do it in a couple of seconds. <laughs> kids never know. Never know. They think it's awesome. Exactly. So, yeah, it's a good one. Don't. No, don't skip great. it, and you definitely don't need a fast Yeah, pass. don't use it, because you really don't have to wait long. And what's cool about it is it's so close to Disney Junior, so the way that we do it is we look to see what time each show is, and we time it where we can go into the one, and then as soon as you're done, you can usually just go into the other yep. one, which is great. Don't use fast passes for any of them. That's a good call. Okay. Thank you. Moving over <laughs> to Epcot, the experimental names. What do you got? Oh, what did Epcot used to stand for? Come on. Every paycheck comes on the earth. What did it really stand for? Not the cast member. Experimental name. prototype. Oh, gosh. Community of Tomorrow. There you go. <laughs> you know, Walt Disney, when he. That was really stressful. It was stressful. When he was actually introducing it, he made a mistake. It's, it's, at, it's on like YouTube. It's like the famous video. He says, uh, Epcot, our experimental prototype, City of Tomorrow. Oh, really? He, yeah, he actually messed it up. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> they just left it in there forever. Oh, they did? Yeah. But anyway, it, it is a community. So let's, whose turn is it? Your turn? It is my turn, but do you want to take this one? I don't have you a lot have any, to say about it. nothing to say about it. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. So the first one in Epcot that you do not need fast passes for is the American Adventure Show. I have nothing against it. I just haven't seen it in so long. America. Oh, yes. I do like that song. You can't keep dreaming <laughs> now. Didn't I tell you guys about the singing? Do, 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 <laughs> do, 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 do. America. Oh, <laughs> He's still going. You got to hear. What is that when you do the high voice? Falsetto. Yeah, you got to hear my falsetto. <laughs> Pull out the, all the it's stops. It's an exciting day. All the stops today. So, listen. We're a couple days before the Super Bowl. I don't He's know what's going to happen. I'm just in an excited mood. Okay, who knows what's going to happen in a game. And if the Eagles are to lose, and I'm talking to you, listener, <laughs> I don't want to hear about it. <laughs> <laughs> nobody come Nobody come tell me. To do, I try not to rub it in anyone's face. I try not to be braggadocious that they're in the Super Bowl, but ah, it's a stressful and exciting time. Okay. It is exciting. We just came from a pep rally. The, at our kids' schools, which is so fun that they do that. Oh, so by, wait, like by the way, by the way, when this goes live, the game will be over. Oh, so wow. as you're listening to this, you already you know. Already the know. <laughs> Future, oh, it's a like time travel. <laughs> they already know who won the Super Oh, I didn't even think about that. Right, you're right. Oh, that's scary. Oh, that's weird. Well, I hope it was one team and not the other team. Okay, <laughs> so the American Adventure, uh, what you need to know about the show. You don't need a fast pass for it. There are posted showtimes. You kind of just walk in. It's in the American Adventure Pavilion. Correct. Obviously. <laughs> it's a great show. It's great music. It is Amazing great music. animatronics that have been there forever. Rotating sets. Oh, yeah. That's which, fun. There's just a machine under and outside the stage that literally rotates these enormous thousands of pounds worth of sets through the show. And you never see it because they close the curtain. Yeah, and that's pretty This incredible. crazy machine rotates. It's right. an incredible thing. Anyway. It really is. Yeah, that's fun just to see that. It's a great show. 
and super underrated. Yeah, and you you feel so patriotic. You really actually do when you go see that show. You come out of there singing that song. Yeah, you super proud to be an American. It's an and if you're not an American, you're still I think intrigued by it. Absolutely, still get into it because of the spirit of the show. It's exciting. Yeah, it is. It just it's it kind of builds to like this big crescendo, and it does. It's cool. Anyway. You don't need a fast pass for it. Nice use you can enjoy it kind of quickly. I, I'm learned. I can use crescendo. <laughs> He's learned. <laughs> anyway, all right. All right, see, now you took, you made me take a, That's American That's fine. Adventure. I love this one. You go with your next one. Oh, it is? Oh. Yeah. So I just found out by reading this that the <laughs> circle of life will be going away shortly, which is sad because, man, that is a fun show. That is so cute. You think? You like oh, that show? Oh, I love that show. Oh, I don't like the show. Oh, well, I'm glad that I have it then because <laughs> it is excellent. If you go in the next few months, you go won't need a fast pass for it. No, I, I mean, I understand what you're they saying. They don't have fast pass It's a little it. long. Oh, they don't have fast pass No, there's no fast pass for circle life. But, I mean, first of all, it's just really fun being, what is that called? Land Pavilion? The Land Pavilion. It's just fun to be in the Land Pavilion. I love that pavilion. I think it's my favorite pavilion. Oh, I, I might be able to say that too. Or the seas. Uh, I do like the seas. Anyway, we can Either have way. this debate off the air. Okay, right. Or a different podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Either way. Um, so The Circle of Life is it's a fun show. It's very informative. Um, Timon and Pumbaa are in it, right? Yes. And there's, it's the only... It's There's a suggestive word in the show. That's suggestive. But it's... it's, it's is it a potty word? No. Uh, they're showing... <laughs> The big thing that holds up water. Okay. It holds water in a river. I obviously don't remember it that well. And uh, one of them, one of the characters says, like, like what a damn, or damn. Oh, right. But they're not, and it's it's kind of like. Right. Like can we take it either words. way. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Anyway. Oh, so that's fun. Um, but so yeah, if you want to see it, go see it now. It's, it's, a, going it's a cute, it's cute. And again, yeah, it's something you can just pop in, especially if you're, if you are waiting for like a a Soren fast pass, or if you're waiting to have dinner at Garden Grill, Grill is right. That's what I thought. Um, if you're waiting for that, then you can just pop in, watch the show. You don't need a fast pass, and it's a fun time, uh, fun way to spend. It's your like time. right next door to Garden Grill. It's like it is thirty feet away from. Oh, Garden Grill is so much fun. Okay, I love go ahead. Garden Grill. That's for another show too. Oh yes, we got to do a whole show on Garden Grill. I would do one. I love that restaurant. That's a great restaurant. I hadn't eaten there in forever. Oh right. And we went with our kids, what, last year? Yes, because... We've been there, you've been there like four times. Well, back. I love it, and our kids love it, but you've always been sick and haven't been able to come. Sure. So I said, we have to go this time, and you loved it. I love it. And you got it, it's it's the only place you get to see Mickey and his former outfit, I oh, think. Oh, which is so fun. They're it's all cool. dressed up like that. Well, it's Mickey, Chip, and Dale. Right, they're and, all in fun, fancy, yeah, yeah, like, right. farming. It's Pluto, attire. Pluto's there, right, or no? I think so. Somebody wears overalls. I think it's <laughs> Chip. Ah, that's cool. It's All really right. fun. I think I thought Mickey were, were the overalls. No, you're right. It's Mickey. With the, you're right. With the final shirt underneath. Yes, it. he does. He looks so cool. All right. So the next one, we're talking about Garden Girl. It's not even in the show. <laughs> no. Not I'm even. Not right, anyway, just go there too. <laughs> um, next one, Pixar, Disney Pixar Short Film Festival. Don't get a fast pass for it, first of all. I didn't even know you could get one. Second of all, if you only go see it if you have time. Seriously. Yeah. It, it's You can yeah. get these short Maybe films Maybe don't bother. Home. You can get them at home. Like I'm not. We're allowed to say don't bother. Right? Yeah, listen, I I don't pull any punches. I, I'm honest, and that's why I think people listen to this podcast because I'm not just gonna be like, oh, everything at you Disney's have to great. Do this. Yeah, yeah, it's not good. You can, yeah, you, it's you not get, good. You can get the DVD and watch it. Watch all these at home. Yeah, yeah, I, we've done that. Yeah, don't don't do it. It's really not worth <laughs> it. Yeah. Anyway, moving on. So you you're, you get the next one. Oh uh, yes. One. See, I, there was a method to my madness. So I have meet and greet Anna and Elsa. So fast passes are not available, and you I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, it's Anna and Elsa. I'm going to have to wait 90 minutes. No, you will not. We have only ever waited 30 minutes. Maybe not. Maybe 20 I don't think minutes. we've ever even waited 30. Maybe 20. I don't know why. I have no idea. It's, I guess it's because... It's because of because it's right next to right. Uh, Frozen Ever After. That's exactly right. That's what it's called, right? Frozen, uh, for some reason, in my head. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Uh, it's right next to the Frozen attraction that replaced So people the are Maelstrom. all just going there, and nobody worries about little Anna and Elsa. But what's the weir- the weirdest thing was, when they were in Princess Fairytale Hall, it was, it was a three, four hour wait every, every day. Now, if, after they had been in there for a year, it had slowed down. But, but it was still, still an hour to an hour and a half. Hour, absolutely. But with it right next to uh, 
Frozen Ever After. That's everyone's priority. Yeah, that's where everybody goes. And not only, guys, not only obviously can you meet Anna and Elsa, but just being in that house is so cool. It, the Imagineers did a great job with that. They queue. did an amazing job. Everything in the queue makes it feel like it's actually the summer home of Anna and Elsa. Oh, it really does. It there are more, childhood it's pictures. It's one of the most realistic things. Yeah, there's dolls, there's cuckoo um, clocks, property. there's. It's very, very well done. It's amazing. Definitely may I, see it, you guys. I may even say it's cute. Uh, it's kind of cute. It's a cute cue. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> a cute cue. I thought that's what you were going for. No, I was going to, Anyway. <laughs> we weren't simpatico on that joke, for sure. That's really um, surprising for us. <laughs> All right. So moving on. Uh, the next one. The Grand Fiesta Tour featuring the three caballeros. Oh. Fantastic. You don't need a fast pass for it. But do it. You should do it. Yes. Uh, especially before they went soon, just in case they replace it with Coco. Which I know. would also be exciting. It would be exciting. I I'm love not gonna... Coco. I love Coco. I, I also, but I really like the Grand Fiesta Tour. Oh, I, I think they did it. a good job with it. Yeah, I don't think it needs to be replaced. It's, it's you know, it's just, it's a lot of video screens kind You're of right. hidden away. No, I think they could definitely do better with yeah, it. Yeah, but it's, it's, a, it's still a fun attraction. The yeah, kids love don't it. Don't skip it. Yeah, kids it's love awesome. it. Uh, so, yeah, it's a lot different than El Rio de Tiempo, Del Tiempo was. Right. It's a lot different than that old attraction. Uh, but, yeah, don't skip it. It's fun one with the kids. It's so cool. And you can go to uh, La Cava. Uh, the tequila next oh, door. Definitely do. Don't skip that either. <laughs> Get a margarita first. Yes, then you'll enjoy it. Even Get the more. cucumber margarita. The cucumber, the jalapeno delicious. margarita. Oh, that's a good one too. And then after you have that, then ride, and you'll have you'll enjoy it a little more. That's the way to do it. <laughs> you'll be a little more relaxed on that on that attraction. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, Ames, next up. Okay, so now I have a little more freedom. I didn't know that we were allowed to say, "Don't necessarily don't bother." Um, but you so can say is... whatever you want. You. This is all about giving your honest opinion. Uh, okay. You don't go so, sugarcoat things for people. They can, they, they, look, the average listener knows when you're sugarcoating or not telling the truth. That's really true. So just be honest. Fair enough. So this uh, is any of the World Showcase film. So there are many films. Like there's like one in China. Three? Oh, just three. Because <laughs> uh, they don't have Canada anymore. They have Canada, China, oh, France. Oh, well, Canada I do love. But um, Canada, China, and France. So there's like these films. And they're. They're they're neat. France, France. <laughs> they're That's neat. a bad accent. I don't think that they have fast passes for them. No, there's not. There's no fast passes. Um, so that. it's cool. I mean, you know, you can go in, and it, it, they are fun movies, and they have music. But I don't. I wouldn't say that's a huge priority. And it's a shame, but they are replacing the. Is it the China film? I think it's the China film. That they're replacing and putting a new one in. I mean, on it to be totally they're honest, putting a with seamless three sixty screen in there. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. To be totally honest, it is nice because it's air conditioned and it is a nice little break and you don't ever have to wait for it. And you do learn a lot about the cultures too. That's kind of cool. You do. No, it's fun. It's fun. <laughs> I'm just saying it's not a priority. But no. it is cool that you don't have to wait for it and um it's it's fun. Maybe do one on your on your trip. Sure. You don't have to do all of them. But it's a nice it's a nice way to kind of get an introduction to the culture of the country. Absolutely. But you can also do that by just talking to the cast members that work there. Oh, that's way more fun. Yeah, I just, I just do that. Go into a store <laughs> so it's air conditioned. And, and talk, talk to the cast member. Yeah, there. they're there. They, they want to talk to you. That's They'll why they're there. They'll tell you really fun stories. Yeah, do, you tell me they don't want to blow off work for five minutes to of talk course. to a guest. Oh, that's that's the why they're there. Part. They love it. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. So my next one, our next one, is Journey into Imagination with Figment. 99.9999% of the time, you do not eat a fast pass, and it's a walk on. No, it says five minutes, and, and it's it never definitely is. not even five no, minutes. No, you just walk right on. There's no... Usually, the vehicle's waiting there for you to walk on. It is. Like, literally, it's a walk And it's on. such a fun thing. I know people are like, oh, whatever. But I love it. I think it's really still fun. And it's it's a short... It's pretty short. Yeah. What's it, like a five-minute attraction? Yeah, it's not, so it's totally worth it. It is fun. It's fun. Yeah. And at the end, hold your kids' ears. Yes. We've talked about that before. But we did wait like a half hour for it in November. Know, we were there. Because everything was so packed. Over Thanksgiving. Oh my God. We waited. We, we're I remember. Like, this is not good that we're waiting. I remember this long. waiting like <laughs> after like 20 minutes. I was like, is this worth it? Like, what are we doing? <laughs> we did say that. Like, we should be getting a margarita at like right now. <laughs> but it was fun. The kids liked it. All right. Moving on, Amy Liz. You're up. Oh, living with the land. Is that correct? Sing it. You can sing it. You now you gotta. That's, that's all I know. Just, you don't know the words? Nope. All right. I'm not going <laughs> to. I'm not going to sing by myself. 
reason why not. <laughs> Never stopped you before. That's true. So living with the land. Let's listen to the No, I'm sorry. Go ahead. It's totally fine. Um, there is not Let's a fast pass land. even available. This to the land. <laughs> it's very hard to say. <laughs> I'll just do background for you. <laughs> so I don't think there is um a fast pass available for it. Correct? There is. Oh wow! Believe it or not, this I'm does surprise. This is a fast passable attraction. Is that a good word? That That's works, a perfect right? word. Absolutely, it is. But I've never. I mean, only at the busiest, busiest days is there more than a plus. I mean, more than a ten minute wait. Right. Only the busiest days, especially because of its location. Because it's yeah, it's right next to Soren. Soren. Yeah. Uh, people and the like circle of life. It. And the circle You of life. and all your friends are apparently going right to the circle well, of life. Well, I was going to say. Hey, future world is open. Let's go to the circle of life. <laughs> <laughs> Being so fresh. Um, but I was going to say um, that living with the land is not worth it, but I know you will argue with me. I argue every time. It's not worth it? Are you serious? For the, for, <laughs> are you saying for the fast pass it's not worth it? That's what this whole show's about. Or are you saying it's no, not worth it, period? I just skipped the whole thing. You are insane, woman. <laughs> I what mostly do you mean? just wanted to get you fired up. What's not that? great about the biggest lemon ever? That's awesome. <laughs> Who doesn't want to see a six pound it's watermelon? It's really long and a little bit lengthy. That's and what long is. They're well, the same I'm thing. just going to try not to say boring. <laughs> oh, this marriage is a lie. My whole 10 years of marriage is a lie. This. You've told me you like that attraction. No, I love it. I'm just talking about it for other people who aren't me. Oh my god, you're the worst. <laughs> I'm just talking about my friend. I was singing the song, and now you're gonna let me down like that? No, I was just kidding. So this is the this is the only one you should do your whole trip. Just keep doing living with the land over and over. Anyway, let me talk about it then. God, you don't need a fast pass for it. Most you're gonna wait is ten minutes. It's a boat attraction. You go through the greenhouse, which I love, with all the cool vegetables and hydroponics. <laughs> He's so excited. Hydroponics. This is the most excited anyone has ever been about this attraction. <laughs> so, hi, no, because I we had the great story. I've told this, I, I think, a couple of years ago when one of Johnny Schwartz's first ever appearances on the show, I told the story. So not the listener might not know it, so I want to re- quickly retell it. Go for it. It's now an automated narration on the, on the attraction, right? Get on a boat, right. go through, and it's an automated script. You hear the same thing every time. But... You used to have a live cast member on your boat with you who would spiel everything. So they would spiel over here are the giant lemons. Okay, I remember that. Over here is the fish farm. I think farm. I've only done it with. With that? Yes. That means you haven't written in the last like several years? Yes, that's true. So maybe that's why. <laughs> so anyway, now, but back in the day, it was the cast member that right. would spiel. And we had this cast member, the first time I ever wrote it, I'll never forget it. I was like 13. And. He, for some reason, he hit the ponic and hydroponics. Oh, so he yes, was going, I remember this story. He was like, you know what kind of plants those are? Hydroponics. Hydroponics. <laughs> like, he, like, hit it. And it made me laugh so hard. And it's just he like said all it, you remember. And every time he said hydroponics, he was, like, getting more and more aggressive with it. And it was so funny that I'll never forget it. So now when you go through, <laughs> was they're he like. Was being funny about it? Yeah, like, he was trying to be entertaining yes, about it. Yes, But now when you go through, and I'm like, the hydroponic plants. And I'm always like. Hydroponics! Like I get <laughs> so excited. I think I do that to poor Lex when we go through it, when we ride it. Anyway, you don't need a fast pass, but you want to see the giant lemon, or you want to see the hydroponics, don't miss the giant or you want to see the fish farm. <laughs> it's 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 a neat it's a neat attraction. Definitely do it. The song's not there anymore, but it's still a good attraction. <laughs> anyway, so this believe it or not, this one is yours. You want me to move on to this one too? Do do this one too? That one just is your turn. You took over. Oh my. well, I had to take it over because. <laughs> Golly, if I let you do it, Golly, we would have been done. Anyway, <laughs> Mission Space is the next one. That's a good and, call. And, and people, and this is kind of my opinion, but I think I'm right. There's never a wait for Mission Space. There really has Again, never busiest been days one. are the only times. Don't, if you're not going over Christmas or over Easter right. or President's Day weekend, basically, then you're not don't get a wait. fast pass for Mission right. Space. Either the green or the orange side, you're going to walk right on, you're, or you're going to wait 10 minutes tops, that's it. Uh, it's still, to me, a great attraction. I, I don't like the, the lame, mild side. I, I'd rather not do it if I'm not spinning. Right. You're either going to spin or, or not I'm do. not going to do it. But, but yeah, a lot I, of people like the mild side. I know. It's true. I, just for me, personally, right. I, I don't do that. <laughs> um, but yeah. So you don't need a fast pass for it. Don't get one. You just It's a waste of the fast pass to me. If you get it, you're, you're going to wait 10 minutes. Stop. So right. yeah. Okay. You're up. Okay. Great. 
So um, I'm so sorry I lost my, oh, yay, I lost my place. So I love this. I definitely would say do. So this is the C, I'm sorry, the C's with Nemo and Friends. I just, I was looking to see if I was also supposed to talk about uh, something else. But no, it's just the C's with Nemo and Friends. You can take that one too. What do you think about? Oh, sure. Okay. And Turtle Talk with Crush. Guys, oh my gosh. I can't tell you enough. First not, of all. Not the same attraction, but they're you they're usually done back to back with for most people. Yes, because they're both next to each other. I'll individualize them. Um, but I'll start with Nemo and I'll tell you what, first of all, it it's another one that says it almost always says ten minutes and it's a walk on. Uh, when it says ten minutes, it's a, it, it's means a long zero minutes. it means zero minutes. Takes you ten minutes to walk, Just through, to walk through it. It's pitch black it's in really there. It's really dark, so you move it's slow. It's freezing. It is. It's freezing, no matter the time of year. Don't let that deter you. It's worth it. No, it's it's the queue. I've never felt a queue that cold in my life. No, it's freezing. Maybe because it's so dark <laughs> and in it's air, so it's dark. Yeah, you I mean, it's, it's actually really hard to see. Just use your cell phone uh, flashlight. Yeah, no, fine. people do. Yeah. People do. Um, but there's a lot of act. To be honest, there's a lot of like all of those little. Um, Whatever the little ropes and all, I use them sometimes. The, rail, to guide, the guide rails, yeah. Yeah, well, they're guide rails, right? So they guide you. Um, but it is so worth it. As you catch and the flu while you're running so your you, hand <laughs> across pure, it, Purell <laughs> afterwards, but definitely do it. Um, and so yeah, so basically, if it says ten minutes, it's zero, and if it says twenty, it's ten minutes. I'm not kidding. So don't let a, a time deter you. Don't use a fast pass because there's way more. Important things to use your fast passes on, and totally do it. It is so fun. Um, you get to ride a clamshell, and the music is incredible. And you get to find Nemo. So what's better than that? Um, Just so- watch your foot when you get on it. <laughs> I don't think I ever even told this on the podcast. Really? Did I? That we were, we were. It was after the marathon. Correct. We you I had won, done I had dopey. done dopey, and that night we were celebrating at Epcot. We took the kids, and I got to be honest with you, my legs were tired. My legs were tired that day, my friend. And I <laughs> was, that wasn't and, why that No, happened. but it was a little bit. So Amy has a little trouble getting on the clamshell because you can't see. Her vision's not fantastic. It's not good. <laughs> so her coordination it's is- the only thing that's not good about me. <laughs> that's true. Oh, that's so nice. she was getting, she said, you have to help me get Jack, our, our son, onto the car with me. I had, onto the clamshell right, with I had me, two kids. And you take the girls. Oh, so what I was going to do was- one kid. I was going to get, yeah, you have one kid. You have Jack. <laughs> I got the girls in the clamshell that I was going to be riding in. Amy got in the clamshell that she was going to be riding in. And I had Jack and I was kind of handing him to Amy, like through the open doorway. And I made the mistake of stepping on the track Ugh. in front of the clam mobile. The clam not shell. good, you guys. Not good. And I heard <laughs> the vehicle run over my foot like just run over your ass like literally went through my like went (laughs) over and it's there's no room for your foot to fit through there so as soon as i started feeling it i was like oh no (laughs) it's gonna break my foot oh i definitely thought it was i thought it was gonna break my foot in half i thought i was gonna have a broken all broken bones luckily it didn't it just took the skin completely off my ankle like right off right like i had jeans on and sneakers and i couldn't see and the, the best part was, it emergency stopped the ride. So, because my foot got caught in the clamshell, the, <laughs> the alarm went off, and the ride e stopped. And the cast member stared at me, and I yanked my foot out from it under the clamshell. It was that moment, though, right, between you and the cast member, where the cast member was, like, not interested in <laughs> filling out a report. In the mo- yeah, in the mo- like, it's, what happens when that happens in the park? You're right. If you're injured on an attraction, there's a protocol that the cast member and the guest follows. Like, you fill out a form, it's a whole they make thing. sure you're okay, they take you to first aid or maybe the hospital. The cast member and I locked eyes. He saw what happened. He knew. He looked at me, and it was almost like a, are you, are you going to make a big deal about this? <laughs> like, he was waiting for me. Because if you're going to let it go, I'm going to yeah. let it go. So he, that was the look. It was the shared, like, <laughs> and I had my, my Adobe medal on, and I remember we looked at each other, and I just kind of, like, shook my head. Like, and I'm I just, all right. And I got in the vehicle. And he hit the button and started it again. Just went on. I was like, I, listen, I'm a former cast member. I, I, I'm not going to sue the company. It's my Obviously. fault. I put my foot in front of the darn thing. I deserve whatever happened. <laughs> so <laughs> when we got off, we were, I remember we were heading to dinner. And I pulled my jeans, my pant leg up, and I looked down. No skin on my ankle whatsoever. Yeah, it was not a good situation. Blood, the blood had just poured down into my shoe. <laughs> it's your side. And I just said, thank God it happened after the marathon of That's Dopey really and true. not before. Yes. Yeah, that was my injury on that. Anyway, 
be careful. But it has nothing to do with the actual Don't put your foot in front of the Clamobile because it will e-stop, but it might run over your foot. (laughs) In the process. Anyway. But anyway, so yeah, so do not put your foot there, but do definitely go on Nemo. And then right after, go into Turtle Talk with Crush, um, which I can't imagine you even can get. Oh, you can get a fast pass for it. Can you? Can you? I think you can, but don't. Definitely don't worry about looking it up. Don't, we, last don't time we wrote, when we were there in November, it said 35 minutes. We waited 10. Yes. You Because you get to go in that little room. The, the, it's not like a standard queue, right? No, right. You, you walk into in almost like a holding area. It is, yeah. And it's like a pre-show area. And they have jellyfish and some other kinds of fish. And, oh, it's so fun. And some eels and stuff that you get to see while you're standing in there. Yeah, so it's, it's worth it. You can, yeah, you can kill some time in there Absolutely. while you're waiting for the show. And like we said about the other ones, you're just waiting for the next show, basically. Exactly. So, you know. No, that's exactly right. So, yeah, it's a great show. You don't need a fast pass for it. Definitely yeah, and the not. show is fantastic. I mean, we don't have to get into no, it. No, it's a great show. Okay. So, yeah, that, that, again, both awesome ones. We we'll skipped this one. So, I'm going to go, yes, go for it. back the last uh, Epcot attraction that you do not need a fast pass for, again, is if you use the single rider line, is Test Track. Yeah. Listen, Test Track's going to have a long line no matter what. Absolutely. Oh, it's always, super, always, super always. Super popular. So it's going to have an hour wait, 45 minute wait, something like that. But if you utilize single rider, like we said earlier with the other attractions, you'll wait 20 minute stops. I, I really like the single rider at, at, at a test track because the queue is kind of, it's, it's been there, done that you for You don't me. need to do the queue. Yeah, you don't need to do the queue. I don't care much about designing the car. Right. So I don't really, like, it's cute, it's fun for kids. Right, but you don't have to do I don't it. need to do that. Uh, so I like doing the single rider, walk right in, 20 minute wait, I'm it's, on the attraction. It's a great way to do it. Still the fastest attraction at Disney has. Oh, yes, that's fastest true. Fastest one, 60, yeah, um, and you don't five miles an hour, if I think. You, if you haven't done it, you really don't want to miss it. So that's a great way to do it. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's still a great attraction. So or it's, it's like Tron track now, right? It's kind of Tron. Yeah, that's true. But have you been on it since they, you have? Yeah, I have. So I have. It, it, you know, it's, it's but it, it's still a great attraction. It's still really fun. But use the fast, I mean, the uh, single rider, not the fast pass. <laughs> anyway. Fast pass. All right, moving over to Magic Kingdom, the final park. And, Ames, do you want to start us off with that one? Sure. I'm not sure. I know, I'm not. Okay, so there's a question. There's a lot of question marks on this one. So it says the Barnstormer with three question marks. I came up with a list. <laughs> and then it's clearly. And then it says up for debate, I think. Up for debate, so as debate. To whether or not you have to fast pass it. Yeah. Like, I, I think this one, this is the one, I, I swear, this is the only one of all the attractions I was unsure on. Really? Like, what do you think? It's just funny that the Barnstormer is like a, a cause for Because debate. sometimes there's a long wait for it. I, yeah. I, no, I mean, nine times out of ten, I thought this question, nine. actually. But this is what I wanted to kind of throw at you. We've both ridden it with the kids a lot. Yeah. We don't often get fast passes for it, so I think it's belongs on this list. I think it belongs again, on the list. If it's something that your kid really wants to do. Yeah, that's what it is. You have to prioritize this. Yeah, this because is Because there's one. so much in Magic Kingdom. Um, You know, there, there are quite... This is obviously, I believe, the park that has the most um, attractions that you don't need fast passes. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. But it also has What's so good... many that you do. Yeah. Right. So it's really, it's up to your priority. If you have like younger kids that aren't going to do the mountains, definitely fast pass Barnstormer. So they can do a roller coaster. Yeah. You want to guarantee that they yeah. can do a roller coaster. Good point. If they're a little bit older, a little bit taller, whatever, they're doing the mountains, then take a chance. They don't absolutely have to do the Barnstormer. Right. Um, it's, it's but not, it is really cute. It's it fun. It is cute. It's fun. It's but really if, quick. But if your I kids mean, are a little bit older, they're like, not going to be like, oh, I have to do this. No, they're not. So yeah, that's why or, I want Or they'll be more likely to be like, I can wait a little longer because, you know, no right. problem. Um, but it, it's cute and it's fun. Yeah. And again, it's the same It's the same layout, same track, right. same vehicle as it's been since it opened. So even though New Fantasyland and uh, Storybook Circus opened, it's still the same thing. That's the same. It's the same attraction. So anyway. All right, so the next one, uh, this is me, right? Yeah. Yes, and you wanted to do this one. The Country Bear Jimbaroo <laughs> by Homer Simpson, otherwise known as the Country Bear Jamboree. You do ne- never need a fast pass. No, never. Always walk right in. And totally. There are no fast in. passes. No. <laughs> I didn't write that there, but there, there are no fast no, passes. No, I knew there one. wasn't. You just walk right in. It's so much fun. I mean, I've never waited more than five minutes. No, and we do this and every single trip. Every now. trip, and it's so good. Still funny. Still, oh, it's hilarious. You sing along to all the songs. 
Even blood on the saddle. Werewolf. <laughs> I knew you were going to do it. Blood on the <laughs> ground. <laughs> it's great. You yeah. see it all day. You um, do. After you do that. Yeah, definitely show. don't skip it. It's so much fun. And yeah, don't, you don't ever have to wait for it. And you wait inside. Even if you wait just you for wait the next inside. show, yep. you wait inside. It's all air conditioned. There's lots of seats. Make sure you look down at the ground when you walk through. Yes. So dude. you can see the claw marks from the bears. So cool. On the ground inside. It's really Yeah, neat. it's great theming. All right, Ains, you're up for the next one. Oh, fantastic. Oh, in the tiki, 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 tiki room. I kind of got stumbled up, but yes. So this is obviously the Enchanted Tiki Room. Oh, that was the Tiki Room song. Uh, hilarious. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, so yes. So absolutely another one you don't need a fast pass for. Are they available? No. Okay. Neither, no, they're not. So don't don't try to get one. No. Because it's not going to be I want to sing it in the background. You, you, you go ahead and talk about it, and I'm going to sing a song in the background. Go. Oh, no. <laughs> Let's it's all a really sing like the birdies do. <laughs> That's tweet, a fun show. It's tweet, very tweet, entertaining. Tweet, tweet. Um, really cute. There's Let's a lot so going on. <laughs> a lot going on, a lot to see. Um, and yeah, don't worry about it. You don't need a fast pass. And, and you can take your dole whip in. Oh, that's the best part. Oh, and that's actually a really fun adventure, right? Sweet. Because there's so few places that you can bring. You can do that at Disneyland forever, but now you can do it at Magic Kingdom too. Yeah, do that. Get a dole whip. Or and a citrus swirl, if dole whip's not your thing. Get a citrus swirl. Yeah, get a citrus swirl, which I still have never tried. Really? Yeah, so I'm going to try it this trip. We're huh. going in. It's a few weeks. It's not. Huh. Oh my gosh, it is almost a few weeks. It is a few weeks. It's very soon. And I'm getting a citrus swirl. So um, that will be another podcast. How about this? <laughs> next month we're going. Yeah, that's true. Okay. So next one, next one up. Oh, I'm so of... glad this is you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to spend time on it because people get angry about this one. Again, I'm not going to get political. It's not me. It's not my scene. It's not my show. The Hall of Presidents, no fast passes are available. You do not need a fast pass to ride out to, to see it. And it's obviously. up to you as to whether or not you want to see it. Yeah. If you don't want to see it, don't go. Don't if you it. have a problem with it, don't go see it. Right. I haven't seen it since it's been back up. I will be going to see it. Yeah, you have to see uh, it. Just one, because I want to see the new lighting, the new right. show. Two, I always like to see the new president animatronic. I would like to see what they do. And three, it's, it's a different show now. They changed the, pretty much oh, the whole thing around. Oh, cool. Yeah, so I want to see it. So, you, But you do not need a fast pass. No, definitely don't get You can't a get a fast pass. Oh, yeah. Um, and when it first opened, there were lines. Uh, now, currently... There are short lines, but... Yeah, I've never seen a long one. Well, when when they first reopened it, there were some lines. Oh, of course. But now there's not. So, yeah, yeah, so you don't need any get it for that. All right, next one up. Okay, so the next one is, oh, Liberty Square Riverboat. That's fun. So you can't get a fast pass for it. Right. Um, But, yeah, so basically it's very nice. It's a nice way to kind of relax. You get to go on the boat. You get to see a lot of things. Um, That's pretty much all you can (laughs) see Great description. Well, you get to see... Tom Sawyer Island, you get to right. see oh, that's fun. Big Thunder Mountain, the Haunted Mansion, all from different vantage points that you do in the park. So that's kind of fun. When you're kind of, you know, well, I bet it's feet fun on to the go ground. Out, like at night. It's cool at night, and it's really cool. If you're a photographer, bring your camera. Oh, yes, that'll be great Because you get to see one. a lot of cool views of, of the island and of Haunted Mansion that you don't get from the ground, so it's neat. Uh, okay, so I'm up. And the next one, Mad Tea Party. Oh, so good. It's so I, good. I can't ride it. I get I get. I know, and sick. I get that. And listen. Me of all people, I understand. It's just one that I can handle. Yeah, the kids love it. A lot of people can't. It's so it's it's basically constant spinning. So if you <laughs> yeah. know that you can't do it, don't do it. But if you can handle it, it's super fun. It's definitely never more than um yeah, five ten minutes. Yes, absolutely five ten minutes. Tops. And it's just fun. And it's you know it's one of the classic ones. It's been there forever. Yes, it's opening um, day. So yeah, hit it, hit it if you can handle it because it's really fun. Sorry, I'm trying to. Oh, you okay. <laughs> Yep, okay. <laughs> and he's back. <laughs> I, had a, I had a sip of water and I was trying to swallow. All right, so next one, where were we? Okay, Magic Carpets of Aladdin in Adventureland. Just don't ride it. Yeah, don't, don't ride do it. One. Don't do don't that. Don't do it. Just skip it. Skip. You've done, every, eh, everyone's done. There's the X. <laughs> everyone's done spinners. Do Dumbo. It's better. Way better. Go do Dumbo. Yep. Uh, that I didn't include in this list because uh, Dumbo's actually kind of, it's nice to get a fast pass for it. You don't need it. Right? Can you get a fast pass for Dumbo? No, yeah, I, oh no, I don't know if you can. Can you now? God, now I'm getting confused. Well, you don't need one because you wait inside, so you don't need it. Right. Just in case, you, that should be added to the list. Yeah, because definitely you, we, don't we get skipped, one. I don't know how I skipped over that. One. Dumbo, yeah, don't don't get a fast pass for it because you walk in, you get but a definitely buzzer. Definitely hit Dumbo. That is like yeah, yeah. Classic. Anyway, what I'm saying is, if you're going to do a spinner attraction at Magic Kingdom, 
do the Astro Orbiter or do uh, Magic Carp. I mean, Dumbo. Dumbo. <laughs> Skip Don't Aladdin. do the Magic Carpets. Okay, Ames. Can we do the next one, yeah, too? Yeah, go for it. So the next one, you don't need a fast pass for. Can't get a fast pass. That's a fast pass. Can't get a fast <laughs> pass for. Are the Main Street Vehicles. Uh, I have Bob Gar on the show every episode. He, that is so cool, by the way. It is, go ahead. It is cool. He answered a question on this episode already. I don't know what it was because he didn't edit the episode yet because <laughs> it's recording it, but he did answer one. He built these Main Street Vehicles, so that's kind of cool. Uh, but if you want to ride the Main Street Vehicles, you can't get a Fast Pass, but my suggestion is get to the Magic Kingdom early, early, early. Yeah, because that would be a really fun opportunity. Yeah, and ride it in the morning. Like, be because so they fun. take them off the road, and when the busier it gets throughout the day, they take yeah, them off the road. Yeah, that makes sense. So get there early, ride the fire engine, ride the horse drawn carriage, that you can do that? ride the omnibus. Yeah, it's awesome. And it's a different way to see Main Street. It's cool. Really? Absolutely. And how, how cool is it to sit down and relax while you're riding down Main Street? Yeah, that? that's pretty amazing. Yeah, that's true. That's a, a new way to do You don't have to, to do walk down the middle of Main Street. You can ride it. Although that's fun too. True. Okay. <laughs> so yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I get to do many adventures of Winnie the Pooh. This is great. So, okay, here's the deal. Um, it's, yes. So, uh, surprisingly, it is a long line. Yeah. Most Normally, it's time. 30 minutes. Yeah. It's, or it's, minimum. It's, yeah, it's really rare to see it less than 25, really. Yeah. Or, or 30. Um, so, it is a long line. Um, it's really, really good, though. So, yes. So, here's the deal. Okay. It's, again, this is a priority thing, right? If you have someone in your party that is like totally into winning the poo, which can happen very often, definitely get a fast pass because it's really, really fun. But if you have people in your party that really, really want to do winning the poo, but they are easily entertained, <laughs> then you don't need the fast pass right. because this is one of the most fun interactive cues that they have. I, I dare say the most fun. Um, You've never I know done you're going to say Pan. Peter Pan. You've never so. done it. Okay. Well, either way, it's, it's the best. One of the most fun. Um, it, it's just nonstop, the interactive queue. It's like really every couple steps, uh, you come upon a new thing that you can do. And they're just cute little games, little places you can go into, crawl into. You can uh, just all kinds of little things that you can do. While bring the hand waiting. sanitizer. Oh, yeah. Definitely bring a ton of Purell. Um, <laughs> but it's really, really fun. Um, and it just makes, you know, it really is half an hour, but it makes it feel so much shorter. Yeah. We. We never wait longer than half an hour for things just because we don't have people in our party that can tolerate it. Yeah, there's no um, patience. But we actually did 45 minutes for, for Pooh the last time we were there, and they were totally cool. They never once asked how long it was going to be because they were totally entertained the whole time. They are. Yep. So totally hit Pooh. If you have to fast pass it, fast pass it. Otherwise, just go for it, and you'll be fine. And bring the Purell. <laughs> Tons of Purell. Because the flu cue. It is. Anyway, next up. Mickey's Phil Our Magic. <gasps> Never need a fast pass, ever, no. ever, never, ever, ever, never, never, never. And it's a great 3D show. I it's hope it's incredible. there forever. It's a lot of fun. Our kids absolutely love it. That's amazing. There's, there's cool effects. There's smells. It's funny. It's that fun. Amy yeah. did not know there were smells until I didn't. the last time we did it. Did you? You still didn't, don't realize the smells, right? That's correct. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do it next time and like really. Yeah, is that what you're gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am. So there is this smell of champagne and there's the smell of the apple pie and really cool. Yeah, I still didn't know that. But yeah, and just, in, yeah, just it's a really fun show. And no, definitely don't fast pass. Same as the next one. It's oh, very similar. The best. Take it. Okay, so Monsters Inc. Laugh Floor. So much fun. It is hilarious. It's a different show each time because there's so much interaction, uh, you know, and also. You send in your jokes, um, so and they so often get taken. But so there's always new jokes, um, always different people, you know, who are going to be picked to participate in it. So much fun. And, usually it's me. Uh, usually it's, <laughs> it's you. That's true. Um, oh yeah, and we did. We waited 40 minutes for this one um, because it was just really, really crowded. Uh, but there's enough to look at and to see. And you can get a fast pass for it. You can, but, but don't. You don't. Need it. don't. Uh, it's so rare. I mean, it was so crowded. Other than that, I've never seen it more than ten minutes. Right. It's like again, like if you're Just not if you're not going it. over Christmas or Easter or whatever, then yeah. don't fast pass. It. And you know what? And if you go near it and it's long. Just do a couple other things. Yeah, come back. And then go back. Yep. Uh, but definitely do it. It's so fun. All right, next up, Prince Charming's Regal Carousel. Oh, your kids are going to make you do this. Yeah, you're going <laughs> to you're going to do it. You're you're in Walt Disney World. You're at Magic Kingdom. You're going to do the carousel. Absolutely. Even though it is very similar to almost any carousel you've ever done. It's exactly the same. I mean, 
<laughs> Listen, it's it's a classic carousel. Absolutely. It's the physically the oldest attraction in the Magic Kingdom. Right, that's cool. It was bought from somewhere else, from Jersey, I think, and mm-hmm. and moved. It's from the Philadelphia Toboggan Company that built it. I think it's 1917. Off the top of my head, I don't. I'm not looking that up, but I think that's when it was built. Uh, it's super old, super neat. But again, it's a, it's a carousel that plays Disney music that you ride and go right. in a circle. But it doesn't matter. Kids are going. You're not going to wait long. You're going to wait ten no, minutes you're tops. Never gonna wait. You don't even have the capacity hot, to wait long. No, it is There's a no... little hot because it's not inside. Well, it's covered. It's shaded. But it's yeah, it's shaded. You're fine. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Don't, don't worry about it. Don't you can't get a fast pass. Don't worry about it. Right, no, don't worry about it. Uh, next one up. Okay, cool. So Swiss Family Treehouse, um, and there is no fast pass available, but you definitely don't need one. Um, because basically you're just walking through the attraction, right? So much like Maharaja Jungle Track, or exactly. Like that. You're just you're just walking behind the person in front of you. Um, but other than that, you, you really can't wait at all. It's a neat one though. Take your camera. I, There's I lo- a lot of fun stuff there. Oh yeah, take your camera. I sure. think it's really cool if you show your kids the movie. Yeah, and, and then, then go, go do it. it. They'll they'll really get a kick out of it because there's a lot of stuff from the movie in the walkthrough. It's really cool. It's really cool. So yeah, it's so well again, done. no fast passes, but it's worth it. This is you. <laughs> Next up, Tom Sawyer Island. It's really similar, same idea. Same thing. Yeah, you go, you take the raft over. There's never a long way for the raft. Maybe never. a couple minutes. You take it over. You so walk around. It's so continuous. Yeah, everything's to just keep moving back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Exactly. And you get over there and you walk around at your own pace and. You do the playground and the barrel bridge. It's a lot of fun. So much fun. Yeah, you can get lost over there. You can just run around. Absolutely. Another Kids can one burn off a lot of energy. But it's also really fun for adults. It's yeah, so we fun. had a lot of fun. We, it's great. I mean, my parents were with us, and they were laughing the entire oh, they, time. It was one of their favorite things. Yeah, they loved it. So, yeah, it's, it's really a, another one. Again, no fast passes available, but it's a lot of fun. Absolutely. And now I get to do one near and dear to my heart, which is the People Mover, TTA, People Mover. And uh, no, so there are no fast passes available. But again, it's it's just continue continually moving. You can't, you really can't wait for it. The only time you ever wait is when it breaks down. It's well, the right, only that's time. true. Or but if that's it's Christmas, true of like Christmas Day. Even Christmas Day, you can tolerate it. I think. Yeah, because it's Cause moving. So much you're just moving. always moving. Yeah, you're not going to just stand still. Forever. Unless it's broken down, yeah, you're never just standing still because right. you get up there and you're you're boarding moving vehicles. Exactly. Like they move the entire time on a platform. And it's really, it's really worth it if you've never done it, and even if you have, it's just really fun. It's a really fun way to see and learn about the attractions, and you just sit and relax, and it's just great. It's I right. definitely do it. Who doesn't love the people mover? It's, it's, I don't know anyone who doesn't love it. Yeah, it's true. It's awesome. Because I wouldn't be friends with someone who didn't like it. It's true. It. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, next one up, uh, the Walt Disney World Railroad. Never, ever, ever need a fast pass for it. They don't have fast passes for it, but you should ride it. Definitely. Absolutely. It. Do the full circle, the grand circle tour of Magic Kingdom. What's up, Knuckles? <laughs> Amy's butt cracking Knuckles. <laughs> anyway, take, take the grand circle tour of the uh, Magic Kingdom on the railroad. It's really cool. You get to see a lot of little sections of the park that, you don't, that you don't normally see. That you don't normally see. Yeah, you're right. When you're not on the train. Mm-hmm. Plus, Walt Disney loves trains. If you're going to do a classic Disney World attraction to the railroad. Absolutely, this is a perfect, perfect one to do, and very underrated. Oh, and now speaking of underrated, I believe um, is Walt Disney's Carousel of Progress. Can you get a fast pass? No, I didn't think so. No, um, but you definitely don't need one. It's it's a really big theater, and it's never full. That's one I, of the ones I've never seen a full. And I hope that mean doesn't ever mean it's going away because I love it. I love it too. I love our kids so, loved it this, oh, they this past time. It. It was the first time they ever yeah, did they, it. Yeah, we were always it. afraid they would be bored on it and not really appreciate it. They actually still talk about they it. They loved it, yeah. They really do. Because it's a rare thing that they haven't done in Walt Disney World now. Right. So to get them to do something new for them was really cool. It's so much fun. It is. It's a great, it's, again, it's Walt Disney's Carousel of Progress. Exactly. He had so much to do with this attraction. And, hey, listen, in 64, 65, all the rage of the World's Fair. <laughs> I know that was 50 years ago. It doesn't matter. It still, still really works, and it's really fun. Yeah, it's a, it's a, great, it's a great attraction. And Definitely it's all air it. conditioned. Yeah, it's like a half hour in the air condition. It's true. Not going to be yeah, that. it's a little bit long, but it's really fun and worth it. It is. Okay. Next one up, we're going to finish. We do these two together, right? And yeah, we're going to finish strong. Yeah, we can do them together. Absolutely. So these are, I put, these are the last two, and I put question marks on them because these are. It's iffy. 
yeah, these are the these are the other two that I struggled with, and I can go either way on. Agreed. So, first one was is last the last two, Pirates of the Caribbean and the Haunted Mansion, right? Which are both amazing. No, you never want to miss them when you go to Magic Kingdom. Correct. You know, if you can miss them if you're there for two days of Magic Kingdom, you do one one day, one the other day. But don't take a trip and miss these attractions. They're classic. That's exactly right. They're the like mainstays, the e ticket long time attractions at Magic Kingdom. And they're so unique. Yeah. They're... You just don't want to miss them. No. But do you need a fast pass for them? Not really. Not really. No. You got to just time it right. Right. So I've seen pirates at a 55 hour minute hour wait, right? Normally. I feel like you. Excuse me, you can more often see a longer wait for Pirates than for Hunter. I agree. And normally it's 20 to 30. Right. Sometimes it's 10. Is, right. Which is nothing to wait. But why I was on a fence with it is it's an easy queue to wait in. It's so very is Haunted easy. Mansion. There's so much happening. They're both very, very easy to wait in. A Haunted Mansion has the, now the extended queue outside with all of the interactive elements. That is so much fun. It's a lot of fun. Reading. The kids will love it. Absolutely. There's tombstones that you read. They're all hilarious. There's, there's things that squirt water at you. There's yes, puzzles. There's, a there's lot games, going on. Music. It's a really fun it's queue to wait, wait in. That's a great way to say it. And then it. as soon as you're out of the sun and you're undercover, and then, you're, you're, in, then, you're, then you're fine. <laughs> uh, now listen, if it's an hour wait for the Haunted Mansion, then you, know, you might want to think about coming back. Maybe go back. Because I, I don't like when it's out into... When it stretches out into Liberty Square past the courtyard there, that's when you want to come back and you don't that's want to That's a wait. little too long. It's a long wait. Uh, but I don't. I technically think you don't need the fast pass for it. Pirates is the same way, right? We were saying 20, 30 minute wait is easy to do in Pirates. Very oh, easy. easy. It's all inside. It's all air conditioned. And it's fun. There's really fun things to see. It's so much fun. The cue music is phenomenal. It's fantastic. It it's is. such a good cue. And yeah, just looking at all the themed elements, it's really fun. Yeah, it's a really, it's really neat. And you get to see the the pirates who kind of died playing chess in their oh yeah, that part's so uh, fun. The stalemate. It's really neat. And you walk through the you know the gun room and the cannon room and absolutely yeah, it's, yeah. it's an easy way. It really is. So you don't really need. A fast pass for it. I don't yeah, think. Yeah, I think this was good on this list. They were I wanted good. to end with those two because I think they're ones that you absolutely have to get. Yeah, you can't miss them. But most of the time, you don't need a fast pass. If if it's something that you're going, again, over the holidays, and you know you want to hit them, maybe, and you have a couple days at Magic Kingdom, Make sure you maybe do it's worth getting pass. a fast pass. But I would or say sometimes most of the time. you could get a rolling fast pass for it. So, like, in the beginning sometimes. of the day, sometimes. Yeah. So, like, if in the beginning of the day it's super long, maybe you'll get lucky later and get a rolling it's worth it to give to take a risk. It is. Take a risk. Take a chance. Take a chance on an unknown kid. Oh, is that from Clueless? It sure is. We're ending friend. the show there. We're ending it there. <laughs> ending it Clueless. You're bringing Clueless quotes to the podcast? Come on. And you're welcome. <laughs> and it's worse. the worst part was that I knew it. I know that's the worst part. That makes it way worse in my book. Oh, definitely. That I knew the Clueless <laughs> quote. I've seen, I think I saw that movie in the movies, actually. Did you really? It's way worse. How old was I when I came so out? So you can't be embarrassed if you saw the movies. Nah. How old was I when I came out? Uh, high school, I would think. Probably Jeez. high school. <laughs> I think I went because I had a crush on Alicia Silverstone. I always, I kind of still do. Really? Alicia Even though she eats her food and puts it in her Oh, cup. I forgot about that. <laughs> no, no, I knew I don't. I'd get him. I knew I'd get him. Oh, did you remember that video? Of course I remember that. How could uh, you not remember that If anyone video? doesn't remember that video, Alicia Silverstone, the actress, would chew food for her child. Oh, oh, and then spit it like a the, bird into the child's mouth. So disgusting, you guys. So gross. Oh, now I'm going to be thinking about that for <laughs> all day. I'm really sorry. Jeez. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm sorry to the listener to give him that Hashtag visual. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> <Ugh>. <laughs> I mean, if you want to get your kids, get your kids some baby food. That's and- really true. It's, it's, or use like a Cuisinart. Like, yeah. Use a blender. There's blenders that do that kind of thing. I don't thing. know why he wouldn't. You need to mix your saliva in there. Uh, All right, we got to stop. Okay. <laughs> so either way, <laughs> <laughs> there are many, many attractions you can enjoy with that Fast Passage. Yes. <laughs> there are a lot of, oh my God. <laughs> I can't get that, that vision His out of my eyes head. are actually watering. I'm trying to shake it off. I can't shake it off. <laughs> All right, Ames, thank you again for coming on. I gotta thank end you this so much. As quickly as possible. <laughs> <laughs> this is a lot of fun. Hopefully, I think it helps. It's really a helpful one. I think and so it helps too. a lot of people. And it was entertaining, I hope. It was really, well, it was fun for me. To I hear. laughed a lot, so. We both laughed. Yeah, we laughed. Well, at least we were entertained. <laughs> we shared some laughs. <laughs> that- Thank you so much again for having me. I 
I don't know what happened at the end there. I think Amy's voice got cut off by the recording. She probably won't love that. Anyway, <laughs> that's going to do it for this week's episode of the Ear to There Disney Podcast. Thank you once again to my wife, Amy, for coming on. This was a lot of fun. And thank you, as always, to you for listening. I hope you found this episode helpful. Again, I said it already like three times. These are a lot of fun, so I hope you're enjoying them. I'm sure having a blast putting these episodes out there. So thank you again. You were awesome. Thanks for taking the time. I really, really appreciate it. And just remember, there will be a new episode of the Ear to Their Disney podcast each and every Monday morning and a new episode of the Ear to Their podcast. Well, that new show that's coming each and every Wednesday morning. So until next time, thank you again so much for listening. Have a phenomenal, phenomenal week. Bye-bye.